All right, Shalom. First, let's start by saying all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kakadash, and by honors to the elders and apostles that rule well, and salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth and sincerity. Now, this is um, this lesson is based on this uh, television show, Containment. It came out a long time ago, and um, all it uh, was about was... Uh, a uh, virus breaking out, and if I'm not mistaken, the government gave it to the people. So the virus breaks out, and uh, you know the people were dead within 48 hours, if not 48 hours. And uh, you know they make these television shows to show you what's going on because stuff like this is going on all over the world. You know, Africa is one of the hot spots for um, viruses and stuff like the Ebola and uh, many other viruses and whatnot. But you got other places, too, that um, have little virus breakouts and whatnot. You know, they be more so containing it. But there's going to be a point in time when they're not going to be able to contain it. And um, if anything, they might just, if the Lord don't... Uh, uh, push out the virus, they might just push out the virus themselves. You know? So, um, they call it, um, bio, um, shit, it just slipped my mind. <sighs> Let me see. Real quick, I can look it up. Yeah, you saw I'll be pushing out these viruses and then using the CDC to control it and whatnot. Yeah, they can um, either uh, do bio warfare, which targets uh, a specific uh, group of people, or they can just push out a virus. Um, as of late, uh, you know, they we had uh, the measles breakout, but it, you know, that wasn't you know nothing devastating. Give me one second. This is a uh, bio warfare. This is bio warfare, also known known as germ warfare, is the use of biological toxins or infectious agents such as bacteria viruses and fungi with the intent intent to kill or incapa in, incapacitate humans, animals or plants as an act of war. I'm gonna keep reading. It says biological warfare, often termed bioweapons, biological threat agents or bioagents are living organisms or replicating entities, viruses which are not universally considered alive, that reproduce or replicate within their host victims. Let me see if I can find some more information real quick. But yeah, as of late, it was, it's been the measles. Uh, broke out in Washington, D.C., and then it uh, spread... But you never heard, well, I don't remember hearing anybody, you know, dying from the measles and whatnot. I know they have a, the cure. But uh, I know when I first came into the truth for the first couple of years, they, there's been uh, like little uh, viruses that's breaking out that can kill people. But they, um, you know, they took it out of the news media. Um, stuff like... Uh, uh, the Black Plague, and it was a couple other ones that uh, were, you know, really bad. But you know, they 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 just said it was in uh, animals, 
and um, they eventually took it up out of the media. But um, yeah, this is what's coming to America because it's uh, in scripture. You know, it's already happening around the world. America is supposed to get it the worst. So you can expect, um, you know, since we in the end times, and Yahweh is out, this is the last Passover because the Passover is uh, being like the next two days. Hopefully, it's the last one. But you can expect a whole lot of uh, more stuff to be happening during this year. So I'm gonna start with uh, Romans. Romans chapter 13, verse 11, it says, And that knowing the time, right, and we in the last days, that's the time we're living in, because the Lord uh, created a season and time for everything up under heaven, you know, and we're at the end of Esau's kingdom. So, you know, the, the Lord's prophets, you know, Yahweh's our way of the left, we know the time. And we out there on the highways and byways trying to uh, wake up the Lord's elect. Because two-thirds not going to get it and inform them on the time. Right along with uh, condemning uh, two-thirds and uh, the rest of the nations. <clears throat> and that knowing the time, that now is high time to awake out of sleep, right? Come back to who you are, according to the Bible, you know, and wake up to these prophecies that's coming to pass. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Right, so... They uh probably already got, you know, a lot of this stuff in motion. They just not putting it in the news media. You saw a habit to where they pushed out a virus and it's just laying dormant in you, you know, and um um, you know, the Lord activated, you know, on top of all the uh other chemical war warfare that's going on. The chemtrails and you know, stuff of that nature. It's all up to uh yeah, how about some how shy. You know, you saw do got stuff out here that's killing everybody slowly. But when the Lord wanted to just, you know, take off and kill thousands and thousands of people, like Psalms 91 said, then it's going to, you know, it's going to do that. But, um, yeah, it says um, Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time that now is high, now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand, right? Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, right? The philosophies that we were uh, under, calling ourselves African-Americans or Lat Latinos, Native Americans. Uh, the confusion of faces, they call themselves other nations also, you know? Going to college, putting a woman over uh, over you, believing that Yahweh Shai, uh, um, or so-called Jesus Christ, who the real name is Yahweh Shai, is a white man. That's the work of darkness. It says, and let us put on the armor of light, right? There's truth, there's word. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. But put ye on the Lord, Yahweh shy, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Right, so, you know, stop going after your, after your flesh. You know, get back disciplined. So I can give you one second. This second Ezra chapter 15 verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, right? But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof, right? So the Lord going to deliver his elect. You know, he's getting tired of his elect being down here and he's going to deliver them. But um, he's going to smite Egypt also with plagues and these viruses is part of them plagues. You know, this is the modern day Egypt. 
as before and will destroy all the land thereof. And ultimately, that uh, the end of this place of America is a thermonuclear fire. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation shall be smitten with the plague and the punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting and hail, and with a fearful constellation, right? Talking about the nuclear missiles. Woe to the world. Oh, okay. And them that dwell therein. Uh, I'm going to jump. It says, uh, verse, uh, well, no, I don't have to jump. It's like it. It says, for the swore and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands, talking about race riots. Because when you watch this, uh, this, this season, um, you know, eventually the people uh, start, you know, um, killing each other, basically. You know, um, and, you know, that's what's going to happen, you know. For food, they 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 got put in the containment. You know, when it's time when they start running out of food, you start seeing people uh rob people. Um, <clears throat> uh, verse sixteen it says, "For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another." Right, they're gonna be uprising against their governments. They shall not regard the kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right, they're gonna be able to do whatever they want to do. You know, take a look at what's going on in the Middle East, um, South and Central America. Or, uh, yeah, 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 uh, Brazil, Argentina. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, right? Hence the name, containment. They quarantined the place. You know, they didn't let nobody in. And, um... Everybody who's on the outside, they didn't let nobody, I mean, they ain't let nobody in from the outside, they ain't let nobody uh, out from the inside. <clears throat> yeah, and that's what's coming to America. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid, right? Uh, when all this chaos and this, all this hell kick off, you know, you will have men out there afraid. The big tough guys, gang members and stuff, they're going to be afraid, man. All that pride that they had, you know, and doing the wickedness that they were doing instead of coming back to Yahweh Yahweh going to have it to where they're going to be afraid. It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. Right, so um, you know, when this when this kick off, besides just a plague happening and breaking out, if they just quarantine out certain uh, areas due to the fact that uh, they got resources and everybody is trying to come in and get the resources, they're not gonna give it to them. You know, it's gonna be all types of hell breaking loose behind that. It says a man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because the of the lack of bread, right? And that's what was going on in this uh, season. Uh, they lacked bread. So, you know, first the Edomites came in and tried to rob the store because the lady, she rose the prices. You know, first it was $5 for some, a can of macaroni. Then the next week it was 10 And she got upset. Eventually went and told, I guess, I don't know if it was a boyfriend, more than likely. And uh, he brought back some of his guys and they had shotguns. You know, I guess, yeah, the police ran them off. You know, got them up out of the situation. And um, um, then some blacks came in and took over the store. And then after they took over the store, um, the police were trying to bring in food, and they took over the food. So, you know, and, and that's just that's just on a small, that's just something, you know, that they was able to, you know, not control, control, but they could control it. When, this, when hell really breaks off, you know it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy, man. It's gonna be crazy. It says, uh, like the scripture says, it says because of lack of bread and for great tribulations, gonna be all types of hell going on, rapes, murders, robberies, uh, uh, people getting eaten, eat, eaten. It's gonna be all types of shit going on in that day.
This is uh, Psalm chapter 91, verse 5. It says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Talking about the Lord's elect, because the Lord going to have his people. He's going to protect his, you know. It says, um, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Talking about the nuclear missiles, because there's going to be a deliverance for the elect. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, right? So the Lord's elect not going to uh, catch these diseases. They ain't going to have to worry about none of this. Nor for the destruction that wasted that noonday. Uh, talking about the missiles. Because America going to be destroyed. A thousand shall fall at thy side. And ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Right. So Esau can just push out a plague. And have it to where you know thousands just fall. You know. it's And, and you know. Eventually something like this going to happen. Man it might not be from a plague. It might be from something else. You know. But it's going to happen. Because it's prophecies. It's written. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm gonna end it right there. I don't want to drag it out. Um, that's the point. I, I got the little clip in the in the beginning. You know, it's going to show you a little, a little what the movie is about. So, you know, um, I recommend that brothers watch this, you know, when they get a chance, whenever. You know, because stuff like this is uh, it's all, all it's doing is just uh, showing you that Esau know because uh, the warlocks and witches make the movies. They know what's, co what's coming, what's coming. They know what's going on. And uh, if you watch the news, you'll see it's going on in uh, Brazil, um, Argentina. And all throughout the Middle East, you know, there's places in South South America that are uh, all types of hell going on. And it's all in the Bible. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemar Shai, the elders and uh, their heads been telling telling the world. And then it came down to us. So now we've been doing the same thing. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemar Shai. But uh, with that being said, um, all praise to Yahweh by Shemar Shai, by Shemar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles that rule well, and salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.